Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro where we continue our video user guide for APT by starting to look at the user interface and a couple of small features ringy thingy, key singy, floating tabs and buttons with pluses on them. So let's get this show on the road. Now the written user guide gives us a little bit of information on what we're going to be covering today but with these things a video is probably going to show a hell of a lot more. So we'll switch straight into APT and I'll show you what's going on. Now first up is uh, ringy thingy. Now on several areas you'll see these little rings um, hidden away in here and what they are they're little ones that can change numerals. It's a little app type thing to change numerals. Now if you have a box where you're putting a numeral into um, all you do is you simply click in the middle of ringy thingy and as you move around it the number will change and the further are you you are away from it the slower the number changes so that's quite slow out there but if I come in close it's moving quite quick the other thing with it is if you have decimal places so this might be 0.25 um, if you're on the right hand side of the decimal it will change only that side of it by the smallest factor it can so I've got two decimal places so it's changing each one by 0.01 now if I've only got one decimal place it will change it by 0.1 as you see there but if you're on the left hand side of it it will only change the number on the left hand side it will not change the number on the decimal point side and that's handy I mean if you don't want to use a keyboard to set in numbers or anything else or if you want to um, use it you're using a touchpad or something that's one way to do it um, now that's ringy thingy so now we're going to move on to uh, key singy I'll empty this box here and use it if you double click on a box you'll pop up key singy and this is just another way to go without using the keyboard uh, using this you can make calculations or you can enter an object n number and name so say I wanted to put in a messier object uh, so I go M down from here from the objects and then okay we'll go 45 there you go so it puts M45 and like ringy thingy it's just in case you don't want to use the keyboard or you want to um, you're using a touch screen of some sort um, this key thingy can be disabled in your settings if you wish I don't use it personally but uh, you may find it useful and that's so that's ringy thingy and keys thingy the next one we come across is you'll notice some of these buttons have little pluses on them um, this one there in your gear tabs your connection tabs etc um, if your camera isn't connected it has one so I'm, I think I'll use that one for this demonstration so I've disconnect now if I just click on it normally it'll just reconnect to the camera so disconnect again and if you hold down shift at the same time and click on it instead you get the camera selection um, so that's how that works and that works with a number of areas uh, if you hold over if you've got tool tips in over enabled it will show you what it do does so if you've got the start uh, if you sit, shift click on it um, it'll tell you what it does on the different ones uh, now all of them work the same way connecting scope again the sh if you're not connected shift click will bring up the connection box where you select your your mount um, you've got it on like on park shift click on park will ask you do you want to set the current location on park but that's what all those do so if you've got a box with a plus on it there is something a little different to do now while we're in here um, you will see some boxes where there's numbers in them so you've got them like on your focuser here uh, if you go to your tools tab in your object calculator you've got one and two there and what these do is allow you to save different settings so if you need to change the settings occasionally for different gear or in the case of the object browser you might be using a region of interest and you need to adjust your sensor size to match the reason of interest so if you're only using a, a, 
a half region of interest then you need to halve your height and width and you can store them here so you can have one for your normal settings and one for your um, region of interest settings and to save one you just simply hold down shift and click on the number where you want to save it and to retrieve it don't hold down shift and just click on the number um, it's handy in there in your gear tab on on your focuser like i said you can actually set three different focuser positions for different gear so that's something you might find very very handy and the last thing i'm going to look at in this particular video which isn't actually in the user guide at this point it's in the tabs guide when you're talking about the various tabs but three of these tabs the cam tab the gear tab and the image tab um, if you hold down shift and click on them they create become a floating window and it's a floating window you can make it longer you know, or whatever you need to do um, you can move it around wherever you want to put it I often put it on the summary tab here I'll stick it down the bottom of the summary tab so I've always got access to my image tab but as I said you can do that with the cam tab so you can keep track of what your camera's doing and the gear tab as well so you can keep track of what it's doing so that's up to you if you want to use them I find the image tab one to be the handiest for me but you may or may not want to use it so I'm going to finish up this video now and uh, we'll be back with the next video where we're going to start dealing with having a look around the main interface here and just a bit of a look at what each of these parts are so hopefully you'll join me with that one and I will see you then clear skies everyone take care of each other